Okay, hello everyone. So I'm going to show you a common problem that uh, you may encounter with your computer, especially when the CMOS battery dies on it and when you switch off the power switch for the power surge protector on your computer is that when you um, when you uh, sw turn the switch off um, and if the battery dies, what happens to your uh, settings is that everything gets lost, all the settings that you have on your computer. So I'm gonna turn it on right now. And for this computer, the CMOS battery died on it. And whenever I turn the computer on like this, it doesn't, um, it doesn't boot up because um, the way I have this computer set up is with UEF iBIOS. See, every time I start it, it does this. So I gotta go into F1. So the reason is because it's booting into this into my regular SSD, which I'll show you. I go to boot. It's not configured correctly. It just configures it back to its default, which it can't, which doesn't work. So it's, it should be booting with Windows Boot Manager. That's for UEFI. So I got to go back, press escape. So I have to switch this every time because uh, my CMOS or CR2032 battery died on it, so this is the way it has to boot to Windows boot, which is UEFI, and I got to change a few other settings. And it says boot device control. This should be at UEFI only. Like that. Now the computer will boot. I'll press escape. See, secure boot. That seems to be set at the right. Right one. Okay, go back. I just go to escape. Save changes. And now if I turn the computer off and turn the power surge protector off, it's going to do the same thing because uh, the savings aren't going to be saved because the um, CR2032 um, lithium battery is dead on this computer. This computer is quite old. I put it together back in late 2013. I think I changed the battery just once, maybe in 2000. I don't even know if I changed the battery on this computer. Now the computer boots up. I may not even have had changed the battery on this thing. But it boots up, but um, I'm gonna have the same problem again if I do that, so. I'm going to show you that this computer does have um, UEFI. Which it does have UEFI. It says right there. It says UEFI. If you have legacy, it should be okay. But this computer has UEFI. So... Um, if you use UFI, you have to set that in your BIOS to make it work like that. And that's what I did, but if you have a UEFI BIOS enabled on your computer, you will have the same problem if, um, if for some reason the CMOS battery dies. The CMOS battery lasts about maybe um, three years. But since I use this computer regularly, if you use it more regularly, your CMOS battery should last a lot longer. 
maybe I replaced the battery in 2000 and no, no, I don't think I ever replaced the battery on this computer from 2013 to 2022. That's how many years? That's um, nine years. Finally, the battery died. Okay, so that's how you get your computer to work. Uh, don't panic. Um, if this happens, this is what you do if it does happen. And um, every motherboard is different. So um, keep that in mind. Okay, thanks for watching by Ace 1000 KS 1975 signing out.